United Nations is observing International Women's Day today. This year's theme, Think Equal, Build Smart, Innovate for Change. That's being uh, reflected upon at UN Women events around the world. The Executive Director of UN Women and former Deputy President of South Africa, of course, Pumzile Mlambo Nuka, she spoke a short while ago in the UN. Let's listen. Today, we celebrate the power and potential of women and girls as innovators. We celebrate their creativity in a world characterized by the speed and scale of change. We want innovation and the speed of change to intentionally benefit women and girls. And we want women and girls themselves to be inspired to innovate and influence the whole ecosystem of innovation. Women are not simply consumers of prescribed solution. They also design solutions for whole society and they are also equipped to address the issues that affect their lives especially. These include the lack of sanitation and hygiene facilities, poor lighting in public spaces where violent and sexual assault is likely, financial exclusion, hard manual farm work in the era of automation and drones. So these are the issues that women want to see innovation addressing and more. We all cannot accept that. It will take us more than 200 years for us to achieve gender equality and the grandchildren of the grandchildren of the SG's grandchildren mm -hmm. will only be the people that will achieve gender equality, not under our watch. Without intentional action and the conduit slow pace, however, this is a real risk. We need the giant leap that the 21st century innovation can bring so that we can leapfrog. As we celebrate the 25 years after the adoption of the Beijing Platform for Action, we definitely have to be thinking about the big and the bold steps that will enable us to leapfrog. We need to use big data, mobile money, climate smart agriculture technologies, and clean water technologies and applications that protect the rights of women and facilitate access to justice. Mobile technology has enabled a range of services and represents an unmissable opportunity for development. Access to these proven disruptive technology solutions has to be made universal to all those who need it. It means that our regulators have to be encouraged to regulate for the 21st century, not for the banking industry of the 20th century. There are already 3.3 billion people globally who are now able to use mobile internet, even though we still have digital divide, gender-based digital divide. But 80% of women in low and middle income countries now own a mobile phone. With this level of market penetration, it would be a historic mistake to fail to make deliberate use of these technologies to advance gender equality. We know that these technologies are effective. Our own UN Women uh, Initiative on, women, on Buy From Women Enterprise uses mobile technology to connect women farmers and cooperatives to information, finance and markets, optimizing the supply chain for women. We know that many more women can use this technology. Women, even with limited resources, have been creating solutions for their problems. Building low-cost solar lamps for small businesses, and for individual homes and health care. Using these interventions for midwives to make sure that they can deliver babies in the dark at night in homes where there, is no, there are no lights. In Fiji, UN Women and the Raki Raki Market Vendors Association 
who pro provided the key insights that led to the modernization and rebuilding of the market after tropical cyclone Winston in, uh, had hit that community. The intervention included flood resistant drainage as well as climate smart aspects like rainwater harvesting system and features like changing areas for babies and filming market attendance. So inclusion is important in innovation in order to make sure that the solution are most appropriate. We also need to ensure that we improve, uh, we, we improve innovation by including gender equality and gender lens at the source of innovation. And to ensure that we have partnered and formed the, the Global Innovation Coalition for Change with the private sector, integrating gender awareness at all levels of the innovation process. If you like, we are injecting the gender lens in the DNA of innovation because we do not have the capacity to be everywhere, but those who innovate must have a gender lens with them. We also know that algorithms increasingly determine selection and response. We need to make sure that with this growing evidence that women have been routinely left out of the data on which decisions are made is also addressed. Big data is only reliable support for decision making if it draws on a pool of unbiased information. Artificial intelligence cannot be intelligent if it is gender blind. And therefore, we need to address also the, to bring about gender lens in that field. We are working with key partners to improve gender statistics, rebalance those data pools, and tell the real life stories of role models who are women all over the world. I hope those of you who are in New York have seen the virtual reality display in the visitor's hall, a partnership with Google to bring to life the experiences of courageous women human rights defenders and activists and make sure that they are visible to many in the world. And some of them are here with us. Thank you for being here. This, this, is, this is using technology to amplify these stories. And in partnership with Amazon, we are using Alexa's voice activated technology to tell stories of women who are role models, who are bringing about change in the world. Alexa, what's my flash briefing? <laughs> Is Alexa here? <laughs> Here's your flash briefing from UN Women's Stories on Gender Equality. In Nigeria, less than 6% of women hold political positions. Lois Uta wants to change that. Lois was just two years old when polio took away her ability to walk but she hasn't let her disability get in the way of achieving her dreams. She decided to pursue a position in politics in 2017 after a friend invited her to a political meeting. Lois was inspired to create space for women and people living with disabilities and to show other people with disabilities what is possible. In April 2018, she decided to run for a seat in the House of Representatives in Nigeria. After several consultations with leaders, students, and community members, she received enormous support and became the nominee for her party. Lois advocates for inclusive legislation and providing an enabling environment for persons with disabilities, especially in the area of education. Every day, UN Women works globally to support and empower women like Lois Uta. Learn more at unwomen.org. Those who have Alexa, you can hear a story from us every week about an amazing woman from a different parts of the world. In conclusion, I also want to highlight the fact that yesterday we launched a partnership with Tencent of China, one of the biggest uh, technology companies, to activate and encourage public giving towards gender equality in China. 
And again, we would never reach those millions of people if there wasn't innovation and we were not using technology to address the issues that affect women. Innovation is a key component of development and a far-reaching enabler of rights. It has to be treated as a right, not a privilege. Innovation is a life-saving basic need for those who live in poverty. Women and girls have a vital role to play in the fourth industrial revolution, shaping the policies, services, and infrastructure that impact their lives. Today, we call for intentional innovation multiplied so that technology can raise the voices of many more women like Loi Aouta of Nigeria and change lives irreversibly.